Why is my mic not working? There we go. Hello. All right. Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at the updated uh, patch notes from Raven Software, uh, more or less going into the lethals. A ton of lethals have been buffed and some really viable ones have been nerfed. So without further ado, let's just go straight into it. Okay, so first of all, melee damage. Melee and non-melee weapons will now require at least three hits to achieve melee finisher damage. So... Previously, even if you had the breacher device, it would take two and it'd be quite overpowered. This was more or less a problem with the pistol, the one that you started off with. You get floor loot, but it doesn't matter. They're behind you, just whacking you. So I'm all for that one. Lethal equipment. Claymore damage increased from 200 up from 150. That is huge. I, I honestly think claymores are going to be in the meta for that one. It's just previously... Uh, you'd have to get two claymores to down. So this potentially, uh, I forget what the health is. This is much closer to being down. Frag grenade damage increased from 112, uh, 225 up from 70 and 140. So that's a pretty big, that's a pretty significant uh, buff there. Molotov cocktail damage per tick has been increased. And the duration has been increased from, to 12 and a half seconds from six and a half. That is huge also. Proximity mine damage increased to 225 up from 200. So that's a little bit more powerful than the Claymore, but obviously you've got that height issue. You can dodge the proximity mine. Semtex damage increased from 74 to 150 up from 70 slash 140. So you're seeing a bit of a theme here, whether that's to do with the longer TTKs, I'm not sure, but everything is getting buffed. It's, it's, it's crazy to see. Throwing knife damage increase up, Increase to 250 up from 200 on hits to the upper torso and headshot. So obviously it's still going to be on the old damage counter for the legs if you, you know, don't get a very good shot. But yeah, up to 250. Tactical equipment. Decoy grenade will now fire rubber bullets with a chance to hit nearby enemies doing one point of damage. That's that's pretty cool. Obviously decoy grenade wasn't that, uh, that great to use, but now it deals that little bit of damage. Uh, it's just going to be a nuisance. Heartbeat sensor. This one is huge. Pulse time increased to six seconds up from three seconds. So, and what that means is you go you get your heartbeat out. Boom. One, two, three. And it'll go boom and go again. This is now double, double the duration. So that is a huge nerf for the heartbeat sensor. I honestly think uh, snapshot grenade detection radius increased to 28 meters up from 14 meters. This is huge. I honestly think if you're running restock and snapshots, this could be the new matter. Stim will additionally apply a three second boost that increases movement, slide, and sprint speed. I don't know how I feel about this one. You know, the movement, slide, and sprint speed, that's, you know, that's okay. It was more, uh, more used in multiplayer for SND, but we'll see. Stun grenade duration decreased from two and a half to four and a half down from 4.7 and five and a half seconds. You know, if you've been playing Warzone, if you got stunned, it feels like an eternity. I, I honestly thought it feels like 10 seconds. So this this is great because nothing is worse than getting stunned for that duration. Gas mask animation will now wait for reloading, armor plate insertion, or grenade throwing animations to complete. So this, this isn't necessarily a buff or a nerf. This is just the quality of life. How many times have we been... You know, you've been fighting someone else on a closing storm. You go to shoot, you start shooting ADS, but then the gas mask interrupts you, takes you to hip fire, you spray everywhere, they turn around and beam you. And nothing is more frustrating than losing a game like that. So I think quality of life there, that is great. Um, they've also just, uh, via Twitter, they confirmed they removed the console FOV slider. So until further notice... Sorry, uh, console guys, you're not getting an FOV slider. But that's all we wanted to go over today, guys. I just wanted to go over the nerfs and buffs briefly on this video. What are your thoughts? I'm all for them apart from maybe the stim, but I think this is a really good uh, direction that the game's going, along with uh, making Dead Silence nerfed, I believe, and stopping power has been removed. Thanks, guys. Peace.